A comedian from Norwich is campaigning for better treatment for disabled rail passengers. We featured Tanya Lee Davis on Look East last week after footage of her being forced to move her mobility scooter went viral. This weekend she had another bad experience on her way to a show in York and we'll hear from Tanya Lee in just a moment after this from Gareth George. Tanya Lee Davis has done some big gigs. That's right, some people carry a briefcase to work, I carry a step stool. But she says travelling to her shows by train recently has been a nightmare. Being forced to move out of my wheelchair space because of the a guard told her to move her mobility scooter out of the wheelchair space to make way for a pushchair. When she complained, she says the guard humiliated her with a tannoy announcement. Days later, another bad experience. She couldn't get off at her stop because the ramp she'd been promised didn't appear. And then I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like, I have a job to do. And now, I, you know, I was already running late as it was. And yeah, it was just sheer panic. The rail operators involved, GWR and LNER, have apologised, but Tanya Lee Davis says her experience highlights the day-to-day -day difficulties faced by disabled passengers. Gareth George, BBC Look East. Well, Tanya Lee is here now. Uh, we've had a lot of things about problems that you've had in the last week, Yes. but this has been your life for a long time. Well, I've been working in the UK for 15 years, so these are not isolated incidents. This has been happening ongoing. It just so happens that it triggered to a point of getting it on video and, you know, uh, yeah, just making it public. And now it's taken a life of its own. And it's a regular occurrence for many, many disabled people. That, that one that happened last week with the conductor making the announcement. That really uh, upset you as, and, and you felt as if that should not be something that should happen to you? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, I'm a very strong woman. I'm very independent. I'm very, you know, outgoing on stage. And I talk about all the crazy instance, uh, you know, experiences I have in my life on stage. But then when somebody sort of attacks you, you know, and puts you in a position where they really want to make you feel smaller than you already are, it was so degrading. And to, I, I, we were between the two first class carriages. So I always, I really felt weird because our voices were being raised and stuff. So, I, but then all of a sudden, everybody in the entire train knew that the little, the woman in the dis, uh, mobility scooter is causing problems. So therefore, our train will be delayed. In other words, everybody that misses their connection, it's her fault. So I just was like, oh my goodness, like, it, it, I just wanted to crawl into a rock and die. Like, I, it was humiliating. You said at the time, what is it about this country? What is it? Are, are we worse than other countries? It, it Very much so, and it's a shame. I mean, I've been coming here for 15 years, and when I first started coming over, it was like, why are you out by yourself? Where's your care? Well, you're disabled. You need to have somebody with you at all times. You can't do that. That's against health and safety. And I was like, what is wrong? I mean, I'm just trying to go to work. Like, I'm just trying to make a living independently. And it just I, it's just the attitude around here. Taxi drivers refuse to pick me up because of the mobility scooter now. Bus drivers and trains. It's Life should not be that difficult. I mean, we have enough challenges as it is you know, for people's and, attitudes. And, and to get things better, you're going into schools and talking to young people in the hope that this doesn't go into the next generation. Which is, yes, it's called Great As You Are, and that's the reason why I sort of stood up for myself by taking the video, because I teach, I tell my kids, you need to stand up for yourself and be confident and, and embrace your, you know, embrace your individuality, and then there's this guard trying to make me feel bad, and I was like, no, I'm going to take this, the power back, and I made that video, and the thing is, is when I get emotional, I, I can't hold back, I'm an emotional person, whether it be angry, sad, and, you know, I was overcome with emotion, because I went right back into that situation, and then, you know, but I think that resonated with a lot of people. Listen, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us tonight. Good to meet thank you. you. Thank you.